21-year-old Dylan Roof could hear the families, but he could not see them. Bond was set at $1 million on one of the charges. Justice correspondent Jeff Pegues has more from that hearing. Jeff? Scott, Dylan Roof is being held in a jail cell in a building behind this barbed wire fence. We're told that he's in solitary confinement and under suicide watch. What is your age? 21. Dylan Roof stood emotionless as he heard the charges against him. Nine counts of murder for the three men and six women. Investigators say he gunned down Wednesday night. Charleston is a very strong community. We have big hearts. From the bench, Chief Magistrate James Gosnell expressed sympathy and support for both the victims of the shooting and Roof's family. We must find it in our heart at some point in time, not only to help those that are victims, but to also help his family as well. All units responding, 110 Calhoun State. Active shooter, multiple people down. New details emerged today about Wednesday's horrific rampage. According to a warrant for his arrest, Roof, seen here on surveillance video, entered Emanuel AME Church around 8.06 p.m. wearing a fanny pack. After attending a Bible study class for an hour, the court documents say he stood up and pulled out a handgun and began shooting. All nine victims were shot multiple times. The warrant says that before Roof left, he stood over a witness and uttered a racially inflammatory statement. CBS News has learned Roof told a witness that he had spared her life so she could tell others what happened. In addition to her, a woman and a five-year-old boy also survived by playing dead. Joseph Riley is the mayor of Charleston, South Carolina. I knew many of these people. Uh, I admired them and loved them and worked with them. And uh, so it's, uh, it's the hardest thing I've done in this job and probably the hardest thing I'll do in my life. Roof evaded capture for more than 12 hours. According to the warrant, Roof's father and uncle recognized him from the surveillance image released to the public and contacted the Charleston Police Department. Roof's father also told police his son owned a 45 caliber handgun. When Roof was apprehended in Shelby, North Carolina yesterday, Law enforcement sources say a Glock 41, a 45 caliber handgun, was found in his car. He was arrested and taken to the Shelby police station. Why did you do it? Law enforcement sources say during an interrogation, Roof revealed that he had been planning the attack for some time and that he chose the church because it was an historic African-American church. Sources say he also revealed that while he was sitting in the Bible study, he considered abandoning his plan, but then changed his mind. The cousin source says he thought if he didn't do it, no one else would. If convicted, Roof could get the death penalty. And Scott, we learned today that the Department of Justice is investigating this case as both a hate crime and an act of domestic terrorism. Jeff Pegues on the investigation for us tonight. Jeff, thank you very much.